This is Fountain Pendulum. I'm Galen, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. This channel is for the exploration of fountain pens, inks, stationery, traveler's notebooks, and my special interest in technical content, vintage fountain pens, unique grinds, and any opportunity to use my loop to show fine details. You can also find me on Instagram. And check out the Fountain Pendulum web store, where I offer my handmade solid wood desk accessories designed for the fellow fountain pen and ink enthusiasts. First off, thank you to Simone and Leanne for hosting the second year of Eight Pen Questions. It's a wonderful way to bring our community together. As a youth, I was very intrigued by calligraphy and illuminated text. I would look at it up close with fascination and wanting one day to have the ability to create something as beautiful myself. My fountain pen journey began in my first year of college while perusing the student supply store. I came across my first exposure to fountain pens. It was the Schaefer calligraphy pen. At first, it took quite the knack to get the writing with it properly, as it essentially is a 1.0 millimeter italic nib, which of course at the time I had no clue. I committed to working with it and enjoyed writing cards and letters with it for many, many years to come. My frustration with it was that I could only write with it on occasion, and when I would pick it up to write with it again several weeks later, the ink in the cartridge had all disappeared, leaving behind a few specks of dried up color, which always confused and frustrated me. Now I understand this is evaporation. I really had to stock up on cartridges because I had no idea that fountain pen ink came in bottles and that you could use medical supplies to refill an ink cartridge over and over again. Eight years later, at a craft store, I purchased a Pilot Parallel with a 6mm nib hoping to create text with it that I would later frame. But another eight years passed before I finally opened the packaging and used this Pilot Parallel for the first time. Then two years ago, my husband took me to Fiden Pens and got me this Pilot Falcon with a soft fine 14 karat gold nib. This is the fountain pen that got me falling down the rabbit hole. It's now been modified with a cursive italic grind and added flex. My favorite inks in the beginning. My first favorite ink was Ferris wheel press coral in Wonderland. It was summertime and it glowed and shimmered and captured all the beauty and wonder of that summer. Then I decided to mix it with some J Herbon Coraline de Jeep and that became my new favorite. Presently, I'm into Kobe inks, and I look forward to exploring them through this year, though I'm sure there will be many favorites from Ferris Wheel Press, Dominant Industries, and others. As my understanding and experience of fountain pens and inks has expanded, my taste and preferences certainly have changed. My biggest fascination is with fountain pen nibs and grinds. From the beginning, I knew I was all about line variation. I loved stubs, then italics and flex. I still love italics and flex, but now am definitely enjoying much finer nibs, such as needle points, ultra extra fines, and 0.4 millimeter italics. I've also been enjoying other grinds that offer line variation such as Architect Grinds, Gochu, and Fude. As far as inks go, my interests generally lie with saturated inks, shading, sheening, and colors mainly with an earthy vibe. A recent favorite has been Ferris Wheel Press Goose Poupon. Pens and inks that I am eager to try out. Kobe inks will be my main ink exploration this year. 
alongside anything that particularly grabs my interest and is accessible. For instance, the new Endless Alchemy ink is on my list because the bottle design is very interesting and Drops of Mars looks up my alley. Pens of Prestige or my most desired fountain pen acquisitions would be several vintage pens actually, such as an original Omos Paragon, Pelican 100N, Pelican Toledo, Visconti Divina, Mont Blanc Hemingway, and an undecided Arushi pen. All in, I currently own 27 fountain pens. Although I only really consider 13 of those to be part of my fountain pen collection. I exclude pens like the Pilot Plumix or Platinum Prepry. I have 21 bottles of ink and 56 sample vials of ink. Limits on pens and inks. Originally, I purchased a Galen Leather 6 pen case and thought to contain my fountain pen collection to that number. Having well passed that, I don't really have a number in mind any longer. At this point, it's really more of a feeling. I would like to rehome some of the pens I currently have, and I want all the pens I have to be used frequently and I really want to be excited to use each one of them. Inks, it's kind of as many as I can comfortably fit at my desk, which I'm approaching the maximum. In the circumstance that I was at my maximum for fountain pens or inks, another came along that captivated my attention. I would have a conversation with myself, and if I absolutely loved the pen or ink, and it was within reason, I would get it. Depending on the situation, it might have to be a one-in, one-out circumstance. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in my content, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, check out my web store, and to best support my content, give me a like and share your thoughts below. Enjoy your fountain pen journey. It's all up to you now.